Hello. Hi. Welcome to We Made It. Hi. I'm BJ. I'm Corey. Hi. I'm like a parrot. And we're the, <laughs> we're the maze, and we are here to wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. If you celebrate that sort of thing, and if not, screw love. If not. Have a happy Thursday. <laughs> if you don't celebrate that sort of thing, I hope you have a nice Thursday anyway. Right. Um, but we are going to have an excellent Thursday. We're going to make a Valentine's Day themed drink. And we... Sort of. Now, well, see, this is not so like, you lovey-dovey, gross Valentine's Day that they can't just make it if it's just a Thursday for them. That's correct. This is just a delicious drink and you can make it for any occasion. But what we wanted to do uh, for Valentine's Day this year... Nod to Valentine's it's a, Day. It's gentle. It's not like bright red. It's not got it's whipped pink. cream. It's not pink. It's not... Pink. It's not you know, over the top, mm -mm. but it is called a pillow talk. Mm -hmm. So make of that what you will. Right. The uh, the drink we wanted to make this this week, we wanted it to be more approachable than some of the really grandiose Valentine's Day drinks we've seen online. Some yes. of them require nine different kinds of fruit juice right. and all sorts of weird and stuff and Most champagne. Of them have champagne in it. And, and if champagne's not your jam, then you're kind of out of luck. Plus, you open a bottle of champagne for four ounces or six ounces of, right. of bubbly, and then you got an open bottle of champagne, which means now you're drinking champagne instead of the drink that you set out to make. Yes. So ours, we hope, will be made with some more approachable ingredients. Yes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. What do we start with in our, I mean, that is a bottle. We're going to start with the vodka. We're going to start with a devastating amount of vodka. <laughs> and if you've been following us, you will maybe notice, maybe you're not that observant, that we've switched brands of vodka. And that is, there is no allegiance reason for that other than... We just really We've been like wanting this one. to try this. Yeah. We've used the cucumber vodka in this brand. It's an organic vodka, which yeah. we're giant hippies. So this really, this makes me happy. It is. It is really. <laughs> their cucumber vodka is really nice, and this was it nice is. when we were taste testing earlier. How much of this are we doing? We're gonna do a whole four ounces. This is a double, for of our course, double. because we are gonna share. Because it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. We should share. We should oh. share. Next, we are going well, to do four whole ounces of pineapple. Can you do that? I'll do that one. Well, sure. So, Take four ounces of pineapple juice. Pineapple juice, uh, you should be able to find in cans if you if you yes. want. You can find little dole little cans dole or whatever. Cans. Mm -hmm. uh, we found an organic that we like that's in the big bottle. Um, one thing is when you shake a drink that has pineapple juice in it, pineapple juice tends to get pretty frothy and yep. so you notice that when we shake we're still going to shake till it's too cold to hold but we are going to do a slightly more gentle shake in the general sense there. i'm gonna let you pour this one too only because the bottle is really heavy the bottle is really <laughs> that is made out of leaded glass <laughs> and this is our amaretto and we're going to put two ounces in here and we are running out and of room in our this shaker. is a gigantic bottle of amaretto we have had this bottle for a really long time yes this bottle is older than our Younger child. Probably. Okay, and the last thing. Oh, no, two more things. Two more things. So we're going to add some honey syrup to this. And honey syrup, um, if you've been playing along with us before now, is just honey with some warm water added. Shake it up so that it dissolves a little bit easier. Because the first time we made this, we just, like, squirted some out of the bear. Some regular honey. But then it has a tendency to sit on the bottom. Yeah. Thus the syrup. So how much for... Both drinks. We're going to do a one ounce, half an ounce per drink. So one ounce. One ounce total of Perfect. honey syrup. Okay. And then the last ingredient, which is a weird one, is our black pepper. Now, normally pepper. we would grind um, black pepper for all of our cooking, but we've made cocktails with black pepper before. And uh, unless your grinder has a really, really fine setting, mm -hmm. I don't want to chew on peppercorns when I'm no, making a drink. We don't want this drink to be crunchy. Yes, so you want a really, really fine grind if you're grinding it yourself. Otherwise, we just bought this cheap little tin um, of black pepper. A couple taps of that in there. Yeah, so I did about four little yep. sprinkles of black pepper. And then we're going to go ahead and shake this. Again, gently. I'm just going to sort of rock shake it. Like just kind of tip it back and forth until it's too cold to hold. And we'll see you in just a sec. Okay, that is Ooh. too cold to hold. Too cold to hold. Hurting right. my hand. Excellent. 
I mean, I mean, I'm I'm not glad it's holding. It's hurting your hand, but it's good that it's that cold. Even the little bit that I shook it, even the gentler shake, you can see on top it's all here. It's foamy. It's pretty foamy mm -hmm. up top here. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this in. Yep. And we are using our fancy coupe glasses, we are. Um, just because it seemed appropriate. You could use a martini glass for this. Sure. Um, you could probably put it on the rocks. If you really, if you were so inclined, so inclined, but these are our new, like some of our new favorite glasses. Yeah. They're just so pretty. Yep. And then we are going to garnish with these little star anise. Now the garnish makes zero sense here. It's just pretty. Yes. You're not eating these. They don't really flavor the drink and you're going to drink no. it fast enough that it's not going to sit in there and flavor it. Um, but it does look so really you nice. Can it out if you want. We're just going to be extra douchey and put them in there. That's right. And just top. A, just a little bit. Just a little bit more boop, boop, boop. of that ground black pepper. Yep. Now, if you wanted to garnish it differently, if you didn't want star anise or didn't have any, you yes. garnish it with a little bit of anything you want. You could take a lemon wedge or a lemon peel, yeah. lemon twist. You could put a little what we use Pineapple, a pineapple piece, a like a pineapple fresh wedge. pineapple wedge would be beautiful. And this is Valentine's Day. Shall we drink it? We shall. I think that sounds like your best idea in the last two minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the pepper. It is. The pepper makes this. It's, it's what gives not it that little crazy, spice. but man, you're gonna get it right here. Mm -hmm. Right there. Oh, it's nice. And the reason we called this a pillow talk is because it's a little sweet. A little sweet. But it's just it's just, just dirty just enough because it's got that spicy. black black pepper in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's Valentine's Day. Come on. You did you didn't think that we were gonna get away with no innuendo from us on Valentine's Day, right? Of all the days. Of all the days. Certainly this day. You knew. <laughs> you knew what you were watching. I mean, this is pretty subtle. For us? For us. Calling it a pillow talk? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you should have heard all the names we discarded. Some of them, <laughs> the outtakes. Mm -hmm. Some of them are going to require a different rating for the video. Mm -hmm. all right, cheers again. Cheers again. Mm. Make sure you make this, and if you do make it, mm. make sure you tell us what you thought. Uh, leave us a comment below. Uh, the recipe will be below in the description of the video. Yep. And down make there. sure is it, yeah, it's down there. It's mm -hmm. down there. It's down there. Um, if you do make the drink, uh, make sure to tell us in the in the comments below. Yep. Also, follow us on all the social media. Yep. We are at We Made It Cocktails on Facebook Correct. and Instagram, Correct. and on Twitter we are at We Made It Drinks. There you go. Um, you can also subscribe to our channel oh, yeah. here so that, that you get notifications for yeah. all the new videos we put up. Uh, we will be back to our regularly scheduled programming. That's right. Here, um, bringing you cocktails on a weekly basis or as close to it as we can. Muster. Muster. Yes. Uh, and we will see you next time with another drink. On We Made It. Cheers. Cheers. Dink. Then we make the kink noise. It's different. I like that. It's very nice. It's same old, same old. No. I like to mix it up every once in a while. Every once in a while, I'm going to mix it up. <laughs> Are we talking about drinks or... Cocktails. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the DuckTales song with cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing Valentine's Day presents. Just kidding. You're off the hook. Oh. At least I hope we're not. Okay. <laughs> oh no, your face. I don't know why, but as soon as you said that, I started singing it in my head. Cocktails. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Well, now we need to write a theme song oh for our. Oh my god, is that our theme song for our, for our channel? <laughs> Cocktails. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing? We didn't go out for dinner or anything? No, we have a sitter. Do we at least do it? I don't know. Maybe? Can I serve porn at work? Is that what you're On asking? On your phone. Me? On my phone? Uh-huh. 
I don't. I, <laughs> I mean, not that it, you will. It had act, just, it's actually never come up. <laughs> just, that's probably a good thing. Maybe we should do it twice this year just to make up for it, like in case we didn't do it last year. Okay. Maybe we should do it twice. Okay. On Valentine's Day. Okay. Wow, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to let that one go. I'm gonna just not going to touch that? Nope. You sure you don't want to touch it? <laughs> you want to go, uh, you know, sit on the couch and watch TV? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do.